Patrick Menil here at the intermission with a special installment of Inside Quebec as we're joined now by Gatineau Olympic head coach Louis Robitaille. Usually we interview coaches in the pregame, but we're not getting the Quebec teams this year, so we thought we'd reach out to Louis for an intermission interview. Louis, how has preparation gone for this unique bubble concept? It's been quite different, to be honest. We haven't played probably in six weeks. There was a lot of uncertainty regarding when would be our next game. So once we got the call from the league saying they're going to go ahead with the project, our players have been really excited. We've been trying to do a lot more systems and team concepts on the ice, but I just feel our group really energized and really excited to be here and playing some games. What are your thoughts on your team's performance and the games you have played so far? I really liked it, to be honest. The first game, we were in Val d'Or, and Jimmy stood on his head, played really well. We have a really young team. You look, we were playing at four, 16 years old, a lot of rookies in our lineup, even some 17 and 18 years old rookies, so... Heading to Val d'Or, which they have a really good team this year. It was a good test. I like the way we handled it. We left there with the win and the loss. And then we came back home with the back-to-back games against Winneranda. And it was good. I think we progressed from week one to week two. It was sad that we had to stop. But I like where our group is heading. And I like the energy that we have on a daily basis. I have to ask about how Kyle Havlinas fit into your team. Probably a key leader based on how your lineup is composed. He's been more than outstanding. It was important for us to go get some leadership on the back end, knowing that Stan, you know, was joining our group and even Noah Warren. And we have Stan Bowser, are always 17 years old, so we in Bhutan 17. So having two 17 and two 16 years old on the back end, like I said, was important to get that type of leadership from a guy like Kyle that went around the league, had success as a player, played with good organization from Cape Breton to Blainville. He's been great. He's been leading the way. He's vocal. He's passionate about the game. He plays hard, not only off the ice, but he's a leader on the ice for us. From a coach's point of view, how different is it from a preparation angle? Because going into the season, everything was going to be interdivision. And now in this bubble, you're playing teams that you didn't think you were going to be playing. Not really. I've had the luxury to coach in that division, the mm-hmm. Eastern Division, over the last four years. So I know, I know she'll win against Shikudemi. Obviously, Victoriaville, my old team in Quebec. So they're a team that I know pretty well. At this stage of the season, it's really important to focus on our game and uh, on our group. And there's going to be some adjustments, especially on the special teams. But outside of that, we want to head to Quebec and, and play our game. And then we'll adjust. We'll throw some stuff at them, some adjustment about the other team later on. But for now on, it's really the focus on us. Tell us about the move from Victoriaville to Gatineau in the offseason and how excited are you to get to see them play this year because that wasn't a scenario that looked like it was going to happen. Well, everybody knows my relationship with Kevin Cloutier and Victo, and it was really a heartbreaking decision. I was really comfortable, and Victo was really happy. My family was settled. I was treated so well by the whole organization, Shalpa and the president, uh, the whole group. But at the end, when you looked at what Gatineau had to offer, you know, both jobs, the chance to build your own club from the draft, which I really believed. And you look at the last four years in Victor, we brought kids in and we worked with them. And now they're at 19 years old and had a really great start. We want to bring the same thing, me and Martin Hemo here in Gatineau. And looking back, it's going to be really fun to see that yellow and black jersey <laughs> on the other side this week. You're at the helm in Gatineau, but a familiar face with you, Darren Rumble is one of your assistants. We know him very well in the Maritimes from his time with Moncton. How has Darren adjusted to life as an assistant coach? He's been really good. I know Darren for a while. We know he worked for Hockey Canada. We crossed battle with our. He's a guy that had success as a head coach with Moncton. He wasn't shy to step back and went to an assistant coach role in Saginaw and in Shawinigan. So for me, having both job, it was important to surround myself with quality people, good coaches, and Darren fit all those criteria. He's an outstanding person. He's fun to be around. Guys like him, we have different personalities, a down to her guy, he's vocal, he likes to communicate with the young guys. He's really pleasant and I'm learning a lot from him and we're working really well together and we also have Rafael Pierre-Guichet who was in Bathurst. He's a younger coach, but he's a passionate kid that worked with Mario Zorashi for two years. So, so I'm really lucky to have all these guys supporting me because as you know, with everything that happened over the last few weeks, few months, not only the COVID, but us and Gano losing the rank, the European situation, the draft. It was a lot of work behind the scenes, so I, these guys were able to support me unbelievably on the ice. You look at your team, and what stands out is you look at the four first-round picks, four guys in the top eight with Noah Warren, Tristan Leno, you mentioned, as well as Antonin Vero and Samuel Savoy. What have they looked like this year? They've been awesome. It's a first for me to coach as many 16 years old, but I didn't coach a lot of 16 in Drummondville, Valdor, and Victo. 
when you have the chance to pick four guys in the top eight, like you said, they're quality players, but they're also quality individual. Starting with Testad, you know, he's not a 16 years old out there. He plays like a man. He's mature. He wants to get better. He's a pro. He was our student of the month. He has 97% average in the high school right now. Uh, he plays over 25 minutes on the ice. The kid is minded. He wants to be a pro hockey player. I love his enthusiasm and his, his preparation. Like I said, he's really mature. You look at Antonin Vero, for me, he's a, not a smaller guy, sorry, but plays with passion, plays bigger than his actual size. He's really, really smart. Samuel Savoie has been a pest. He plays with speed. He hits. He competes so hard. Noah Warren, he's a big boy. He's six foot six, over 200 pounds right now at 16 years old. He's really mobile. Good shots. So the four of them, they have qualities, but they're all different qualities. So for me, it was important that down the road, when these guys are going to lead the way for success to our team, it was important that they gel together and they bring some different aspect to our group. And it's pleasant since the beginning to work with them and I'm really looking forward for not only the long-term future but to see what they're going to be able to bring towards the end of the year. Thanks for this, Louis. Best of luck in the bubble and the rest of the season. Thanks, Patrick, and hope you're safe and the Eagles fans are safe as well down there. Absolutely. That is Louis Robitaille joining us at the intermission. You're listening to McDonald Auto Hub, Cape Breton Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.